Well, it's no secret Tennessee football is king of the sport here in East Tennessee. <laughs> sure is. After playing on Rocky Top, some former balls have found a new team in the Knoxville Knights. Marshall, tell yeah. us more about this. This is team. a team that's actually still going on right now wow. in their schedule. They're still playing football. Uh, the semi pro team has been competing since 1996, giving athletes the opportunity to keep their playing days alive. Sterling Hinton has been a knight, along with David Yancey, both VFLs. The Knights are made up of athletes that aren't focused on fame or how much money they make. No, the Knights, they play for the love of the game. We're going to end it in Knights on three. One, two, three, Knights! I love it. It's a second chance. The perception is, you know, a bunch of old guys out there just trying to hit each other. But if you come to play us, you better know we're coming to beat you. For the better part of two decades, the Knoxville Knights have gathered for one reason above the rest. You know, you got kids that come out of high school, you know, might not be going to college, then come to my pro and still do what they love to do. You got it. You're trying too hard now. Come on. After a decade coaching youth football, local pastor Eric Pinson decided to pitch in helping team owner Greg Campbell by taking over as head coach earlier this year. It's the experience. At first, I didn't think I could do it because I was like, oh God, I mean, I'm coaching guys out of college, guys go with the UT. Yeah, guys like Dennis Rogan, the former Fulton star and Vol standout, never caught on in the NFL, but after an indoor league career, he's found a new home field in his hometown. That's part of the reason why I went to Tennessee. You know? My family get to watch me play and be close to family at the same time. That's what it's about, you know. You get to share what you love doing with the people you love. You know, we got guys that come out here that don't know other guys that might be from another side of town that normally wouldn't get along, but they get along out here. We all come from a lot of different backgrounds, but when you're out here on the field, you know, it's all about the night. Unlike Rogan, Isaac Mueller was never recruited to play football because he never played it. I never got to play any football as far as organized because first of all I was homeschooled but then I worked every day since I was seven years old. And when we did try and I looked at him he was so fast and so athletic I was like where did he play football at? Raised in a family with 15 siblings, Isaacs found a new band of brothers on the gridiron. Now there's no money in it for the Knights, but that doesn't stop them from gathering here at the field near old Knoxville College. No, it's nothing special, but the bond they grow most certainly is. We're playing off. If they press, we're going to throw the slant. It really doesn't matter what your background or what even your home life is like when you come out here. You build a family. The bond has helped Isaac in his darkest days. I thank God for the time that he gave us with my baby. We were just thrilled to have her for the eight days that we did. Nearly three months ago, his wife Kendra gave birth to a baby girl, Alana. Complications during birth took her life after just a week. We actually buried her on Friday and then I had a game on Saturday. Isaac was named an honorary captain for that game against the Tri-State Wolves. A 35-14 Knights win. And I got to pray for the team afterwards and my team's really been a blessing. You know, when he got guys that he haven't known for a long time, that's like rallying around him like his own family would doing what he loves to do. You know, that helped him get through a lot. In football, he's found solace. In Isaac, the Knights have found fortitude. Well, he kind of uplifted a lot of other guys to be strong like him. Through a game, a bond is forged for all the right reasons. The game, it's just a game. There's the ups and the downs, and you'll have your good days, your discouraging days, and, and you'll want to be like, well, should I keep doing this? But when you see the smiles and the, and the guys that they depend on it, it's your family. So you, you, keep, you keep going for your family every day. Hmm. Mark wow. Whiteman reporting there. Yes. The, the power of teamwork really shows in, in that piece. So two weeks from now, the Knights are actually going to be on the field playing for their fourth league championship in Kentucky. <laughs> right now, the team currently borrows equipment from high school programs around the area. They play their home games at Claxton Elementary. They're hoping next season they can find a new home field on a home turf. Oh, You know, you sir. always hope that the right person is watching right now that can say, well, let's do that for you and throw in some uniforms. Yeah, you see the Knoxville Knights? I mean, it looks like a group of great guys that just like playing some football. Good All family. Right. They bring it together. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Great story. Yeah. Yeah. Thank All you, Marshall. Right.